Hot roast in the oven and we'll, yeah. we'll pick this thing up next week. But the key is, when studying the Word of God, mm -hmm. let's use the Bereans as an example. Right. They were teachable. And we know this because they went to a place to learn. Mm -hmm. They were fair-minded. My fellow church family, when we approach the scripture, let me get real close to you now, because some of us might try to hide on this part. When we approach the scripture, let's make sure that we are approaching it with an objective mind. Yeah. Let us perform the activities to feed our desire. Amen. They search daily to see if things were so. Mm -hmm. And then allow God through his word to have his way with us. So that we can say yes to him every day like the Bereans did. The Bible is like no other book. It's powerful because it was inspired by God. And his purpose for us is to provide guidance and growth. And next week we'll pick it up on the practice of Scripture. Okay. So we've looked at the power of Scripture, the purpose, and next week we'll look at the practice. Right. All right. If there's anyone here today who's not yet named the name of Christ, we do that through faith, repentance, confession, and baptism. Hebrews 11.6, without faith it is impossible to please God. And interestingly enough, Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Do you see that? Yes, sir. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. Repent, Acts 17, 30. God at one time weak died ignorance, but now he commands us all to repent. Confess Jesus as Lord in Christ, Matthew 10, 32, 33 and be baptized in water for the remission of sin. Acts chapter 2, verse number 38. And for those of us who have some things in our lives that we need to foster, who may have ignored the activities associated with being desirous of learning more of the Word of God, we all get sidetracked. Sometimes we just get lethargic. Things become so routine until they just don't have that, that, that shine or that flare that they once did. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things in our lives grow stale, even when it comes to making sure that the spiritual side of us is being nurtured. The invitation mm -hmm. is for you as well. If you need prayer and encouragement, or if you need baptism, come on and let us stand up together and sing. Has been a project the Savior, hear my humble